Hi, my name is Mishneen, and this is Drag Story Time. Today, I'm reading What Would You Do in a Book About You? Stories by Jean Reedy, Pitches by Joey Chu. Who? Who? What about you? Me? You? What would you do? The story starts now. Your tale is brand new. What would you do in a book about you? Would you adventure above or below? Or beyond with help from a broomstick? Or maybe a wand? Would you skip across stars or a planet or two? Would you go at it alone? or invite a whole crew. Adventure is awaiting. So much you can do in this wonderful, wonder-filled book about you. Would you rescue a king, a queen, or a dog? Would you capture a castle, sip tea with a frog? Would you ride on a dinosaur? Rope with emus? Would you dance with a yak while you both play kazoos? Would you cure polar bears of the polar bear blues? The polar bear blues? The polar bear blues! Well, cure walruses too. You don't have to choose. You might create something that changes a mind, or make a heart stir. You might simply be kind. You might make a big speech, or defend someone small. You might open a window, or tear down a wall. And when trouble comes, you might bravely stand tall. You might muster your courage to rise from a fall. Would you march slow and steady, and sprint from the stars? Would you follow the crowd, or lead from your heart? The choices are endless, the obstacles are few. So many chapters begin to brew. Imagine the endless good you might do. In the heartwarming, heart-building book about you. You might read a book, you might write a book, a powerful page-turning book about you, a book about you in a book about you. Amazing, astonishing, astounding, absorbing, absolutely, undeniably, unmistakably, awe-inspiring, two times few. If your life were a book with pictures and pages, what would you do to be read through the ages? Stop, dream, and think it through. What would you do in a book about you? The end. Or rather, the beginning. The I'm Lilith Knox, and today we'll be reading Choose Kindness by Ruth Ohi. This is Bunny, feeling small, not wanting to leave his bed at all. Grumph, says Bunny. Time to wake up, says Dad. So somehow, Bunny manages. Barely. Bunny has breakfast. Bunny gets dressed. Bunny goes out the door. Have a good day, says Dad. I love you. This is Beetle, basically bored. Beetle wiggles, Beetle woggles, Beetle feels ignored. Then along comes Bunny. I'm going to fly to the moon, says Bunny. Me too, says Beetle. This is Martin, feeling left out, shy and nervous, full of doubt.
Then along comes Beetle and Bunny. Nice hideout, says Beetle. This is Wren, who loves ballet. Wren thought it was pyjama day, but it isn't. Then along comes Martin and Beetle and Bunny. Great idea, says Martin. This is Lemming, who forgot her lunch. She has nothing to snack on, chew or crunch. Then along comes Wren and Martin and Beetle and Bunny. Care for some kale, says Wren. This is Bear, lost in thought. He can't remember what he forgot. Then along comes Lemming and Wren and Martin and Beetle and Bunny. Did you make this bear, says Lemming? It's wonderful. Can we help put it up? This is a party of those who cared, those who bothered, who tried, who shared. And each and every one made a difference. Would you like to join us, says Lemming? The end. <laughs>